Caves have fascinated and impressed people since humans could be interested and amazed, and it's easy to understand why. Caves are the dictionary definition of mystery beauty, fascinating underground realms that live apart from the mucky tinkering of human desire. But caves are dark, wet, and frequently difficult to reach, yet scientists continue to explore them. Indeed, numerous caves have provided spectacular finds with a window into the past. They've also revealed some unexpected findings, from the terrifying giant anaconda and dangerous sulfur gas to the enigmatic Kabayan mummies. In this video, we're going to look into a three million year old cave that scientists say contains something absolutely incredible inside. Make sure to stay until the end because you don't want to miss this. Number 10, Walking Cavefish. Scientists have long tried to discover how our ancestors transitioned from fish to terrestrial vertebrates 375 million years ago. A small eyeless fish that walks and climbs up waterfalls may now provide some answers. Cryptotora thamicola, the fish, was discovered in 1985. It's just two inches long, as blind as a bat, and a bit of a hermit. Cryptotora has only been seen in caverns in northern Thailand. Dr. Apinun Suvarnaraksha of Thailand's Maijo University and Dr. Daphne Suarez of the New Jersey Institute of Technology recently discovered and wanted to investigate the small fish further. As the cavefish is a protected species, scientists obtained a preserved specimen from a Thai museum collection and scanned it with a high-resolution CT scanner. The CT pictures they received showed some bizarre details regarding Cryptotora's bone structure. What is the standout? It has an outstanding pelvis. Number 9. Fire Mummies The Smoked Human Remains of the Kabayan Caves Mummification of the dead has been practiced since ancient times. The Egyptians in particular used mummification, which gave rise to today's cliché picture of a departed corpse wrapped in gauzy wrappings. The finding of mummified remains in several caves in the Philippines marks a new form of mummy, the fire mummy. The fire mummies were discovered in caverns near Kabayan, in the Philippines' Benguet province, and are human remains preserved by a protracted dehydration and smoking process. These well-preserved bones have provided researchers with information about a unique mummification procedure and the tribal people who used those methods. They were found in various caves around the region, including Timbak, Bangao, Tenong Chol, Napay, and Optas. Smoking is not a frequent mummification method, and it was a time-consuming procedure, yet it was employed effectively to preserve countless remains throughout the years. Scientists believe the Kabayan mummies were constructed between 1200 and 1500 AD by members of the Iboloi tribe. The time frame is debatable, with some experts speculating that mummification stretches back thousands of years. While the exact start date of the practice is unknown, it is agreed that it terminated around the 1500s. The smoking mummification procedure went out and was no longer practiced after Spain colonized the Philippines. The Kabayan mummies are still kept in the caves where they were discovered. Despite the cavern's isolated location, theft and vandalism are serious worries, prompting Monument Watch to name the region one of the world's 100 most endangered sites. It is also being considered for UNESCO World Heritage Site status. Number 8. Indian Ellora Caves Ellora, located near Verul, Maharashtra, is one of India's most beautiful UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Though we often refer to Ajanta and Ellora, these are two distinct locations in the Aurangabad area, separated by around 103 kilometers. Ellora is one of the world's most extensive rock-cut Hindu temple cave systems, and it's breathtaking. Ellora has a total of 34 monasteries and temples. These temples are sculpted into the slopes of Charanandri. Ellora Cave Temple is spread out across a two-kilometer span. These temples are carved in unbroken succession, making them one of the world's most complex and distinctive designs. Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism are all practiced in the Ellora Caves. Their existence in the same compound demonstrates the prevalent tolerance in ancient India. Ellora's rock-cut cave temples date between the 5th and 12th centuries, the caverns are all numbered, with 1 and 12 being the earliest, returning to the 5th century. These caves are Buddhist caverns with evidence of Mahayana Buddhism philosophy. Number 7. Underwater Stone Age Cave 
A diver excavating a cave shaft 120 feet below the ocean's surface near the coast of Marseille, France, discovered of a lifetime when he discovered one of the most magnificent specimens of ancient cave art that modern humans have ever seen. Numerous cave paintings depicting 11 types of animals and other symbols were found in this cave, which was believed to date back to the early Stone Age, when there would have been no water in the region. This cave is challenging to access owing to increasing water levels, and three prior divers died trying before the first one who succeeded. Did it seem unjust that such an incredible piece of history should be lost forever to the sea? Even though the conservation of the cave was not feasible, a contemporary museum theme park was developed utilizing perfectly conserved cave artwork. A team of professionals worked tirelessly to carefully record the displays, which were cleverly created to recreate the actual site from the cave, which will soon be completely inaccessible forever. Number 6. Splendid Sorek Cave In the late 1960s, average quarry rock blasting unexpectedly revealed an entrance to Sorek Cave. The Sorek Stalactite Cave is located inside Israel's Avshalom Shaham Nature Preserve on a bluff in the Judean Desert, less than 15 miles by air west of Jerusalem, and half a mile or so south of the Valley of Sorek, in the foothills of the Judean Massif, above Beit Shemesh. The cavern's natural dome is a pile of gray dolomite from the slope. The thickness of the granite ranges from 39 meters to 156 meters, cavern ceiling to the outside surface, and weighs an estimated 400,000 tons. The fractures and cracks in this granite cover extend to the ceiling. Rainwater sometimes brings clay and muck into the cave. Several petrified reptile remains have been discovered, attesting to ties with the outside world and environment. Number 5. Giant Anaconda When Brazilian construction workers blew out a cave to create a way for a new dam, they unearthed a location providing us nightmare fuel for the past decade. It is well known that organisms that survive in distant places without natural predators may grow substantially. However, this colossal anaconda takes insanity to a whole new level. It's frightening how little adult men are about this giant lizard. The behemoth was scared out of the cave after an explosion and had to be killed. It was 30 feet long and weighed more than 900 pounds. We've never seen a snake this big, and we doubt we ever will. Many people were angry that the snake was killed, but experts pointed out that snakes are notoriously aggressive and violent when confronted, even when raised in captivity. This implies that you would not want to compete with this powerful beast under any circumstances, and that any other course of action would have resulted in the loss of all these employees. Number 4. 3. 300. Year Old Cave, Frozen in Time. This is a once-in-a-lifetime finding. Archaeologists in Israel uncovered an exceptional cave in which ancient humans sealed heavy items and probably human graves 3,300 years ago, only yards from a beach south of Tel Aviv. The cave was used during Rameses II, which governed what is now Israel from about 1279 BC to 1213 BC, according to the Israel Antiquities Authority, IAA. Egypt ruled an empire that spanned from modern-day Sudan to Syria under the reign of Rameses II. Construction workers found it when a mechanized digger at Palmahim Beach National Park suddenly breached the cave's ceiling. IAA archaeologists were immediately sent to the location. According to the statement, the crew ascended a ladder into the gloomy cave that appeared to have frozen in time with beautifully laid out pottery and bronze objects, artifacts often linked with funeral rites. These items were supposed to have aided the departed in their afterlife. The researchers discovered hundreds of clay items, including large and shallow bowls, some painted red, chalices, cooking pots, storage jars, and lighting lamps. Number 3. Sky Graveyards Hanging coffins on the edge of cliffs may be seen in some of the less developed parts of Guizhou province in southwestern China. These aged wooden caskets are a unique burial ritual that dates back hundreds of years. At least 30 caskets are fastened on limestone rock and packed with remnants of garments, bones, and pottery on the exterior and interior, hanging as high as 100 feet above the earth. According to reports, skulls may be jutting out of these sky graveyards. More coffins have been discovered in rural regions of the Yangtze River in central China. These oldest coffins are claimed to be around 3,000 years old and may have been found in Fujian, China's easternmost province. 
In 2015, 131 hanging coffins were uncovered in Hubei, China's central province. The hanging coffins of the Bo people of China, a nearly 3000-year-old civilization, are now assumed to be extinct. Because so little of their culture has survived, there is significant discussion about the significance and purpose of the hanging coffins. Number 2. Cave Worm A new species of cave worm has been discovered deep below in a hazardous cave loaded with dangerous sulfur gas in Colorado. This blood-red worm never sees the light of day, yet it lives in a dark, unfriendly environment that would kill humans. These worms are true extremophiles, meaning they live in physically or geochemically harsh circumstances and have been given the scientific name Limnodrylus sulfurensis to celebrate their hellish, gaseous home. The worms were discovered by biologist David Steinman while exploring Sulphur Cave in Colorado's Steamboat Springs in 2007. It took more than 1,000 hours of lab work before they were formally acknowledged as a new species. The worms are exceedingly small, measuring about 1 inch, 2.5 inches, long and thin as a pencil lead. They cling to the cave walls in bunches and are largely translucent, with their crimson hue originating from their blood. The worms in Sulphur Cave live by consuming sulfur-oxidizing bacteria. The habitat also includes spiders, flies, beetles, and other insects, producing a chemotrophic ecosystem that lives independently of the sun's energy topside. According to scientist Olaf Gier of the University of Hamburg in Germany, the hydrogen sulfide levels in the cave stream are ten times greater than those observed in deep-sea volcanic vent habitats. The sulfur will likely arise from organic materials trapped in sedimentary rock formations within the cave. Number 1. The Three Million Year Old Ningwu Ice Cave in China Every surface is covered with white stalactites, and the walls and floors are encrusted with thick ice. The Ningwu Ice Cave, also known as Wanian Ice Cave in Ningwu County, China, is a rare phenomenon. The underground cavern remains frozen all year, a natural freezer, despite summer temperatures of up to 70 F, 21 C, outside the cave. The Ningwu Ice Cave in China's Shanxi province has a single entrance connecting to the top of a bowling pin-shaped chamber. The 85-meter deep structure was digitally recreated by geologists Xiao Hua Yang and Yao Lin Shi of the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, who discovered that buoyant, warm outside air did not flow very far into the cave. Meanwhile, the cold air of winter drains heat from the cave system. Even with a thousand people daily, the conduction mechanism keeps the cave at freezing temperatures all year. Thanks for watching, and make sure to click this video on your screen for more quality content. I'll see you there.